There you are, man. How are you doing? Rock and roll, man. Fucking happy to be talking to you, boys. I miss the Netherlands with all my heart. You're back. Finally, man. I saw the, the, that you're playing the AFOS live next year. That's so big. Dude, I can't believe it. Dude, it's about to sell out as well. I think we're about 100 tickets away, which is no crazy. Way. Which wow. is wild. Wow, so good. I saw the videos of, of yesterday. They were massive as well. Dude, it's all gone mad. You're back. You know what I mean? <laughs> I am back. I am back and I'm buzzing. I'll record this interview for my show next week. I'm doing the evening show on King, the Dutch Alternative Station. So Love let's it. go. Let's get it, baby. Woo! He is finally back. The Young Bloods Energy. Dominic, thanks for joining me tonight, mate. Oh, bro, I am so excited. Netherlands, I miss you so much. I can't wait to be back. Next year, it will be big, man, because you're doing the AFOS Live. That's the venue where Noel Gallagher plays at the moment. Dude, that's so mental. Like, what? And, yo, there's about 100 tickets left, so everyone get, 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 get ready or you might have to miss out. You know what I mean? I might put a second night on, to be honest. That's what we're talking about, so we'll see. Wow. <laughs> but, but that's the massive thing now. You released your album Weird last year, and now you're finally allowed to play that album. Dude, can I tell you something? I'm on tour at the minute, right? I'm in Manchester, England. We've got two nights sold out here. It has been insane. Like, it feels like everyone's been cooped up like a chicken, and now everyone just wants to go mental. Like, it's been incredible. And, like, to be back with the best family and the best fan base in the world, like, I'm just excited and, and like, I can't wait to get back to the Netherlands because you guys were the first one who believed in me. You were the first country. I'll never forget that. Never forget that. You were the first to play me on the radio. You were the first to sell out the shows. I remember the first show we ever sold out was upstairs at the Melquag before nobody, it, nobody in the UK wanted to give a fuck. And I, I will never forget that. Like, I, you have such a special place in my heart. I can't wait to see you all. We have to still wait a bit, but Youngblood is back with a new song as well. It's called Fleabag. You played it on Leeds for the first time. And that reaction, mate, it was right the day after you released it, right? Bro, and they were screaming it. I'm like, what is going on? I, to be honest, like, my life at the minute has just been fully, like, big moments. Like, what is going on? Like, I can't believe it. We played our biggest show in London last week, 10,000 of us, and it... it it's just a bit of a whirlwind, man, to be honest. I'm just excited and and just very proud to belong to a community that celebrates love, equality, acceptance, and screams it, man. It's just rock and roll, isn't it, you know? Every generation has an artist which they are look up to. It was David Bowie, it was Chester Bennington, and now you are that guy for a new generation, man. Dude, it's so crazy, and and, and I, I, I truly love each and every one of them so much I'm, I'm excited I'm, I'm full of energy I'm full of life and I can't wait for you all to hear the new music it's crazy I heard you have two albums to go dude literally I was like uh, during lockdown man I was like I went into the studio with my mates and we got one album that's like really Brit pop and experimental oh, wow. and like and, and one idea but that's not quite ready yet so i've got another one that's coming first that is like literally like i think probably the best music i've ever made and then that goes into some mad album that that isn't about singles that isn't about one it's a, an idea one idea start to finish but that can't come yet it's not ready you know what i mean I love that how you make music because your new song fleabag it reminds me of the 90s grunge i hear nirvana in it you bring that music back in the charts Dude, it's cr I just all I want to do is I just think like I think rock and roll as it has such a feeling that that no other music can compare. You know, what I mean, I think it has this release that needs to come back and needs to be radiated throughout the world again. You know, and it is the back in the charge. For, uh, Ramford Short, I play a girl called Nessa Barrett. There is Machine yeah. Gun Kelly, there is Youngblood. You are all in the charts with this guitar music. Dude, it's so sick. I can't believe it. It's just the best feeling in the world, man. I would love to play Fleabag now on the radio and after that talk to you about more because there's a lot happening around you. Let's do it. Spin that record, baby.
It's Youngblood on the show. Very special guest and man that energy you give. Is there ever a day off in Youngblood's life? I hate days off. I think days off are boring. I, I just I just don't like them. You know what I what mean? What do you do I on just, a day off? I um, go to the studio, run around, play football. You know what I mean? It's it's not. It's I don't like them. I hate Sundays. That's why I hate Sundays. I'm like, what am I doing? I've got to do something. You know what I mean? It sounds like a great song title. I hate Sundays. Do you know what? That sounds like literally. I might, I might, I might write that. That fifty percent credit to you. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> what I love about your music is that you do it all yourself. You do what you love. You you don't give a fuck about what other other people think. You j just make your music. That's it, man. That's what I always wanted to do. I when I grew up, I just I just wanted to belong somewhere. I wanted to belong to a, a movement, uh, an idea. And I think with it all, I just never expected it to get this big. You know what I mean? I think with with what Youngblood represents, I just wanted to to do something that's not quite been done yet. You know what I'm saying? And 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 it and and I can't believe it. I just I, I'm just so proud to just stand up there with with my incredible family you know and 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 play every night it's the best but is it hard sometimes because young blood is getting bigger more people are involved more people with meanings about it yeah man i think as i say it's a lot of people are having an opinion about what i am a lot of people believe it a lot of people don't believe it but that's just what happens in it when you get bigger people don't get it and at the end of the day when people are like how do you deal with it i'm like people are fucking talking about me aren't they so that's all that matters where do you belong more now at the moment because you've been a lot in the uk a lot in the us dude to be honest i it's like i'm i've got, I've got gypsy blood in me my mum's dad was a gypsy so i think i i'm kind of paying homage to that lifestyle i don't really belong anywhere i belong everywhere i belong to the world baby so next year you will buy a house in the netherlands Oh, dude, I'm down, man. I will literally, I'll be screaming, it's been nurking into kirking in my fucking house in Amsterdam. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait to see you next time in the Netherlands because next year, the Afos life, it's fucking ready for you, young blood. Dude, it's going to be mental. I cannot wait. I'm bringing my duck. I'm bringing the fire. I'm bringing the energy. I can't wait to see you. Who can we expect with you on stage? Because you are support the, 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 the Ram for Short is supporting you. Kenny Hoopla dude, is supporting I, you. Dude, as I say, I will definitely be bringing some like incredible acts. We haven't confirmed Europe yet, but the the can I tell you something? The best thing about the new rock and roll scene is last year, if someone was like, "Who was going to support you on tour?" Two years ago, I would not know. About I don't know who to take out. Now I could name ten acts that I could take out. And it's amazing. You know what I mean? It's amazing. And you're kind of a mentor for them as well. Dude, it's wild. Can't believe it. I think it's amazing what's happening. Guitar music is back and it's fresh and it's loud. What do you give them for inspiration maybe? What can you learn the new generation? Because you are the new uh, generation, but after you, yeah. they're still new artists. I think that's what I'm saying. I think, as I say, I love the energy. I love the optimism and I love the inclusivity. That's it. That's all it's about love each other spread love spread individuality man and be your fucking self i just played your new song flea back on kink and now i would like to pick your classic track which which youngblood classic should we play now oh i think let's do it let's kick let's go back to the start i think i think let's go back to the the first record that really popped in the netherlands let's play i love you you marry me let's do oh, it oh man it's a banger <laughs> youngblood dominic thanks for joining me today Thank you so much. I'll see you soon.